Yeah, you can. Luckily, like you can put this put the nades on like platforms, and then they're still useful. Yeah. Anyway, Carol Ices. Really well. J is basically PR now, right? Uh, pretty, uh, like somewhere in the top ten. Oh uh, no. He lives. The uh, oh, he pulled back for some reason. Okay. It felt generous. It's like I don't need it. Giving giving low tier ICs a uh, chance. So. <laughs> I think neutral wise this matchup is probably not too bad for Carol because of both the, the crown, the armor moves which would like um, split them up. It's just the disadvantage is like terrible. Yeah, like, like really hard things. to get off ledge. The 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 combos work so like the combos work well on everyone, but they work especially well on the heavy characters. Oh, I like that I'm better ledge though. Alright, he's found his gap there. How does Edosh to work uh, ledge work? Have like is there a bigger window? What do you mean? Um, when you do a directional edge to the yeah. ledge. Like a like a directional edge? Yeah. It's pretty ledge, easy to two frame yeah. if you know it's gonna happen, yeah. I think. Because like you'd your, your invincibility would go away and then you'd have like I don't know, I don't know what the time is. You'd, you'd have, have at one. least the two frame window. Yeah. Oh my god. She messed something up there. That should have been a dead Carol. But yeah, that Nair, so good at splitting them up. Oh, well, the tech. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can't be missing techs against ICs. Death. Can't be missing the B reels either. I'll spam mums in chat. That's okay, so you can just kind of crown off ledge. Just go through, like, wall and uh, wall yeah, down. that, like, that's, that's something. That's a nice thing Carol has, is like the armored moves. It ma makes oh them have God. to be more cognizant of. Let's go. Push the ledge. Dead. Tech it? No. Damn. That was tackable, but yeah, he missed Carol's it. Carol's so big that you can just like. That was like. He died really early because he missed like three techs. Yeah. So. Gerald's it, kind of it's not that hard to. It, you just have to be aware of when they're coming. Like, you can watch out for. Because you, you don't want to hit. You can't just mash the tech because then you'll just lock yourself out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, for example, if you're mid combo, you're not going to be put into a tech situation unless you get footstool. So you have to watch out. There's also the, you can uh, listen out for the footstool sound. There's also well. the uh, mix up they have where like they do like the ice block before the footstool to like delay it. Pretty yeah, cool. that too. There's, like, things like but that if your if your cue is just the footstool true, sound yeah. effect, then it shouldn't work in theory. Oh, another bad. Okay, he's fine. I'm actually very careful of the cycles bounce from like here. Yeah, if I it just get if he just um if Spamage just blocks it straight up, then that's a heavy punish. Oh he messed up there. Oh but the ledge hang Yeah, but it doesn't allow Kyrodica for any um reactive options oh. at ledge. Dude that killed <laughs> no, oh, so yes. early. Oh my okay. uh, messed up the He had the right I idea yeah. there, like going for the um the edge guard, but I think Spamage delayed her recovery a little bit, which made it hard to, to go for like a nair. So he, he kind of fumbled the bag. Not gonna lie. All right, this should be dead. There we go. Yeah, nice. good follow through. Just to be sure, you never know. She seems to make miracles out of Sopo. There we go. Now it's just a matter of not dying. Uh, you're probably dead. Yeah. Oh, did... I have no idea how that up smash didn't kill. Scary. Oh, there you go. Such good aerials, like you can really... Like she tried to call out the full hop and just miss, and then still had enough time to get the, the up air out there. Crazy that didn't even like kill screen. Uh, like kill spark. So he might have been able to look The game was tight. Like one night. Oh. Okay, she does like the panic animation when, when he gets sucked. Gonna separate him, he? Oh. Oh. he went for it. Yeah. He has the right idea. I think he has, he has the right idea in a lot of situations. He's just kind of like... I think Spamage is... I don't think people give enough credit to Spamage for her like s subtle positioning in a lot of situations. Um, but she's very good at it. Rough spot for Carol. 
Yeah, yeah he finds the gap. He's been actually not that bad at getting off the, the yeah. ledge. Like, that's kind of the the lose condition for Carol a lot, is he's terrible at getting off the ledge. Carol plays definitely. You gotta have that as one of their skills. I think she tried to footstool him, <laughs> and it almost worked. Would have killed. Uh, I don't... Just to like recover, oh, just get okay. the phantom footstool, but yeah, if he got footstool out down there, he was dead. <laughs> but... Alright, he's actually oh. a stat... Okay, this is the first... He's been in the lead the whole time, but he's established a... Oh. He's established a game, actually. <laughs> There's a bit of a nano moment yeah. there. <laughs> I don't know. She just decides. Now she just decides to throw the game I sometimes. Me. Me. Runs off the fucking ledge. Okay, I'm gonna go. Good play, Spectre. I think. Let's check. Stop battle. Ice climber. Oh, you got Spectre. Yeah. Should be fine. T O H F. Okay. Battle. Battlefield. He'd probably be banning like the small stages, I think. Like maybe like Lilat, Lilat Hollow, Smashville. These missed texts will be the death of him, I swear. That's why he lost game one. Maybe he has like Wi Fi brain. Actually, that might be it. And Wi Fi? Playing Wi-Fi is like quite a good resource, but I swear it makes people just bad at teching. Because I watched when I watched like some Japanese major, I was literally like, "Wow, the Japanese people just like can't tech." Oh, oh. oh, that's a shame. You chase you chase two rabbits and you catch neither. If you're gonna hit one of them, like know which one you're gonna hit. It probably should have been. Oh, actually, honestly, if he hit Popo with an up air, he he was dead. So. Oh. Alright, if he gets a kill on Popo here, then, then the um, the lead's not too far. And obviously, like, Sopo, probably some of the worst damage output in the game. Ooh, nice conversion. But yeah, the game didn't slip too much, and honestly, the, the damage on K. Rool is not as important as the stock. Like, obviously, but I mean, he's gonna... He's going to start off with a lot of damage all of the time because of the big combos. Alright, check that one. Good start. He's probably dead here. Oh no. <laughs> Somehow he's taking like double smash attacks to the chin. Oh, this is a terrible spot. How did you do that? Oh. Can't armor through all that. Can armor through one move, but not two. Alright, let's put some up. Still keeping it going, sort of. Ah, now he's put himself on the ledge again. Carol's aerials are really good, actually. Except for, like, up air. If they were on, like, a high tier character, I think people would talk about them more. So, I mean, she was much more in control this game. Like, just kind of, it seems like she's leaving fewer gaps for, for j Rods to, like, get his hits in. Fair, it's fast and it's strong, but you, you kind of only get one. It's not like other strong aerials, like um, I don't know, maybe like Robin up air or Fox up air, for example, where you get plenty of opportunities to like ledge trap to frame trap them after. Is that dead? Oh yeah. One seventy percent. It's a terrible spot, and you're at the ledge, a back air or. 
Wait, well, F-Tilt will do it now, actually. Oh, that should be... Oh. Two hundred and twenty-six percent. If he makes something out of this, that would be crazy. All right. Ooh. Those aerials are like safer on shield than they look like they should be. Oh, okay. Uh, he had something going there. He just, he just like. He put his he put his chips on on a bad bet with that up smash I think. J-Rod's counterfeit? Interesting. So I think, oh my goodness, what an opener. That cannonball was pretty smart, it like blocked off the the icicles. So then he could like position himself to not be back to stage safely. Oh, no, he's fine. Oh. He tanked a lot of damage there, he might actually be at risk of a of an armor break. If he's not careful. Not that it happens very much. No. <laughs> you need a game plan. Ah, oh, that's. You need a game plan if you break. Break the shield. Oh. That was. Did she do the thing where like they both did two different get up options? It, it kind of looked like. Um, Popo rolled and Nano did get up attack. That's crazy. How are you meant to cover two options at once? That's really hard. Oh my goodness. So much damage. Just my dash attack. He's playing the disadvantage like pretty good. Like he's not just running in. He's like picking picking safe moves to like re-establish some stage with. Oh. Oz PR tech. Up tilt? Oh no. Oz PR mash. Still living. There we go. Rough spot. She almost made it back. The fact that she lived as long as she did is pretty impressive, so. This is like, I feel like, obviously Ices isn't like the greatest neutral game or whatever, but I feel like almost no other character makes you play from the corner as much as, uh, as this character does. Like, I'm const like you just get walled into the corner almost straight away. And there's definitely other characters that are more oppressive, but like, oh, not a trade you want. Oh, I trade you. You'll take actually. He kills from this. Some might be damage. Twenty-four with Sopo, and he's on the ledge again. Oh no! Actually, he missed the tech on purpose. Should be an up to Oh my god, she meshed out of that one. That's cr that's all. Alright, now this is dead. Pretty even game after all that. It's gonna be a slow and arduous process to take a stock off either of these characters. Oh. Great little mix up. We hadn't really seen that all game. Oh I don't know what happened. 